So what happens when you've overfilled the engine oil? What problems do you tend to experience? How do you know if you've got too much oil in your engine? And what actually causes all of these problems? So we thought we'd just knock together this video that explains what happens, what the typical problems are when you overfill your engine oil, how to diagnose the problem with overfilling your engine oil, and actually look inside the engine at what goes on. <laughs> So you've got your dipstick, or well, most cars have a dipstick. I know there are a few exceptions. Some cars you have to use the digital dashboard display to check the oil levels, but the manufacturer sets a maximum and minimum level. So what happens if you're a little bit over the maximum? Well, in most cars, it's not that much of a problem. The manufacturers have set quite a wide margin. There are some cars where you need to be more worried about going over the maximum line, but we're still talking about substantial overfill not just a little bit over the maximum mark. We're talking about quite large extra quantities of oil here. So we really have to cover our backs and just recommend that you always keep your oil between the maximum and minimal levels that the manufacturers recommend. We have to accept there is a little bit of leeway there as well. So don't be too paranoid about this. If you've got half a litre too much oil in and it's a fairly large capacity engine, it's really not something you need to worry about. So what are the typical symptoms that you get? Well, if you you've overfilled your oil, you will probably start to experience smoke. The engine will start to burn oil. That oil pressure is building up and it's getting into places where it's not intended to be. That can also cause oil leaks to appear. So you may well notice the oil leaks coming from the engine in various places. And it can be pretty bad in some situations. We've seen reports of white smoke, particularly blue smoke, and the oil leaks also tend to just burn and you may experience some kind of burning oil smell as you're driving the car. So if you've got any of those symptoms, it, it could well be down to the fact that there's too much oil in the engine. So what's actually going on inside the engine? Well, the oil in a typical engine will collect at the very bottom. There's a sump, it's a pan at the bottom of the engine that the oil sits in, and the dipstick actually goes down into that pan, and that's where you get the, the level of the oil. So that's why it's important when you check the oil to make sure that the car is level, because if the car is at an angle, the dipstick may well give you a completely false reading. Also check the engine oil when everything is settled, because when the engine is hot and it's been running, the oil is actually all around the inside of the engine rather than collecting in the sump. So you're not going to get an accurate level when you check that dipstick. So if you've ever jumped into a body of water, you'll notice that instead of being nice and soft, if you hit that water quite hard, it really does give you quite an impact and quite a shock. And something very similar is going on inside your engine. So at the very bottom of the engine, you've got the crank that the pistons are attached to that is rotating. Now, if the oil level is too high, what will happen is the crank will start to splash in the oil. And that splashing process creates shock within the engine itself. It also, as it splashes the oil, that oil is now traveling at much higher pressures, much higher velocities than it was designed to. This cavitation effect and splashing in the oil also introduces bubbles in the oil. And the bubbles really affect the the way the oil circulates around the engine. It can cause damage to the oil pump if you're not careful. But it, it generally just restricts the lubrication effect of the oil because it's now a foam rather than an oil and it's not flowing around the engine as well as it could do. So you can actually do long-term damage to your car if you've overfilled the engine and you're getting this cavitation problem with the bubbles forming in the oil and the oil's just not doing its job. It's not lubricating. You've got high pressure oil flying around around inside the engine itself and it's getting into all sorts of areas it shouldn't where the seals would normally be preventing that from happening. So if you have overfilled your engine oil substantially there's a, a few avenues to just restrict that. You could undo the sump plug but you should really use a new washer and you'll notice the oil does tend to jet out of that. It's very difficult to take a small amount of oil out of the sump. So in most cases if you're going to use the sump method it's best to drain the oil, measure it 
and then top it up by filling it back into the engine but with the correct level. You can use a pump as well which goes directly into the oil pan usually through the dipstick hole and you can measure out a quantity of oil and just make sure it goes that way. Don't be tempted to use the oil filter because removing that you won't actually get very much oil out. They tend to be on the side of the engine and they're not designed as an oil reservoir. They're designed for the oil to flow through it. So although it might look like there's a, a litre of oil or half a litre of oil in the oil filter itself, that's not usually the case when you undo it and pour it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.